Hi, it's Marissa and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm just going to be filming this pretty pink summery look. Um, starting off with the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. primer. Um, I'm mixing this with a pink eyeshadow from the Morphe Jaclyn Hill palette to use as a pink base. Um, I forgot what YouTuber did this and I'm copying her. Uh, crap, maybe it was, I can't remember her name right now. Um, but anyway, yeah. Someone else gave me that idea, and it's just using this um, flat brush to kind of pat that out and blend it out, as you can see here, just to make sure it's a nice base to go in with all the pink colors. So um, I think this is Dance Party is the name of this eyeshadow, same from the same palette, and I am using a Morphe, I think R41 brush to just put that into the crease and um, blend that all out. I'm just going back and forth. Wimchel Wifel, Winch, wow. I literally cannot talk. Did I just say windshield wiper? Windshield wiper motions, back and forth. Just packing that on and then going in with Tipsy Girl. This is a Morphe, ugh, I'm so bad at remembering brush names. I'm so sorry, but I will link it down. And I'm just using this color to blend out Dance Party and to make sure there's a smooth transition up into the brow. Um, I am taking this pretty close up to the brow. I like to bring my shadows up pretty far. So yeah, I'm just going back and forth making sure that's super blended and looks um, not so harsh as you can see at the top there. And then once I have it and it looks pretty decent as you can see now, I'm going to start packing some shadow onto the lid to really intensify this look. I'm gonna go with this orangey pinky shade, like it's like a coral. Um, I believe this is try on or something like that, I believe, but it's this corally peachy pinky shade. Um, sorry, I really suck at constantly getting out of the frame, so you really can't even see what I'm doing right now, which is annoying, sorry. But I am just packing this on and just intensifying it over and over. Um, I will say these shadows are a little difficult to work with. I think I'm kind of over um, trying Morphe shadows. Um, I just feel like, especially after trying like Natasha Denona and other um, brands, I'm just sort of over how hard it, like how much work it takes to get these shadows to work, if that makes sense. Um, I don't know, I think that they were nice starting out with, starting out with like as a beginner. Um, but I don't know, I just, cause they're like inexpensive. So I think that's what kind of like catches your eye, but I would rather just spend more money on better shadows. But anyway, moving on, I am packing now, um, the dance party shade on my, um, lash line, kind of bringing it down pretty far. I've been bringing down my shadows far lately, um, down my lash line because of the, the lines under my eyes. I think it kind of like masks them a little bit, if that makes sense. Um, so yeah, I've been kind of bringing my shadow down pretty far lately. Um, so I'm just packing that on. Um, so now going in with mascara, I believe I'm using the Roller Lash by Benefit, which is my favorite. Well, one of my favorites. I have two favorite Benefit, um, mascaras that are my favorite. I literally just repeated myself. Um, it's Bad Girl Gang, Bad Girl Bang, <laughs> and this. Roller Lash Mascara. I don't really have lashes, so you can't even see what it's doing to my lashes, but trust me, um, it's really good. Now, going in with the Jaclyn Hill, this is the highlighter palette, her accent highlighter palette. Um, I'm pretty, I've been liking it so far. Um, I like to put it in my little, my cheeks, um, on my chin, on my um, Cupid's bow, and of course, on my forehead there just so it hits when, when the light hits, um, you can see a glow. And then um, for lipstick, this is Mented Cosmetics. I believe this is number five, um, Mented number five. It's a semi-matte um, lipstick and it's a black owned cosmetic company. I just wanna point that out as well. Um, I have been sort of MIA on my channel just because of everything that's been going on with Black Lives Matter. Um, it's been a little overwhelming, like emotionally to deal with, um, just because I live in New York. So, you know, the protests got pretty bad here some of the days. 
and just all the sad stuff you're seeing on social media lately it just was kind of becoming just like emotionally overwhelming so I wasn't really like doing any makeup this actually this look was filmed a long time ago and I haven't even edited it because I just haven't honestly been doing makeup that much um but I'm trying to get back in it but while I am um, talking about this if, as you can see I'm really struggling with this lash um, I'm not used to wearing lashes like this that are kind of like a thick band so I really struggle to get this lash on um but anyway I do um you know I if you do follow me on Instagram I have um a lot of peti links to petitions and different ways you can donate um, on my insta bio and I will also include um, some links down below if you guys are interested in finding out more about the black Life, black lives matter movement or signing any petitions and donating any anything um, I'll include that link that I have in my insta bio down below as well All right, so this is the finished look. I just finished putting the um, lashes on, which I kind of struggled with, but I'm not used to wearing lashes that are this, um, I guess, heavy is the right word. They don't feel heavy. They just look, I guess, more dramatic than what I'm used to, but I actually like it. I think it really adds to the look. If I would have done like a casual, or casual is not the right word, but I guess a regular lash, I think it definitely would have um, like, the look one of the same if that makes sense um but anyway thank you so so much for watching if you stayed all the way to the end thank you so much please give this video a thumbs up and um, see you guys next time